Sky I-2 tonight over a fire at the Harmer House Event Center. Tonight that fire has left several people displaced. Good evening. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Ken Rice. Lauren Linder is at the scene of that fire on Freeport Road and joins us live. Lauren. Ken, the Allegheny Valley Fire Chief tells me that at this time the fire is under control here at the Harmer House off of Freeport Road. They believe it may have started in the kitchen and no one is hurt. Now, the co-owner of this business tells me that he would have celebrated 25 years of owning the Harmer House this coming Monday, and he says that this all feels like a dream. If you take a look at your screen right now, you may be able to see some video of what it looks like from up above a little bit ago as flames shot through the roof of the banquet hall that's been here since 1960. It started around 7 tonight when Jim Reynolds was bartending inside. He tells me he was talking with a customer at the bar when a lady came in and said there was smoke coming out of the building. Jim couldn't even smell it, but checked out the back hallway and ran into a big cloud of black smoke. He helped get 10 to 12 pool players out. They're all safe. There's also 16 apartments attached to the hall. That's where Kirk Rice has lived for 11 years. He tells me his power went out and he went to check the fuse boxes in the laundry room. While the fuses were on, he saw doors that lead to a dock burst into flames. Everyone got out safely. He's one of about nine who are displaced. Now, Nick Futilis, the banquet's co-owner, tells me a lot of people depended on them and they had upcoming events every week from now until Christmas. We've made a lot of memories. For, for <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> for a lot of people over the years, I've been here, thousands, weddings and, and events, and you know, it's been the place where everybody goes to celebrate. And it's come to an end from the looks of it. I retired and I, I started working here part time and I enjoy it. I enjoy the people coming in here. It's a nice place and uh, I, I feel bad. I, I, I feel really sad. As a child, 15, 16 years old, I used to come out here and watch uh, acts, singing groups. And uh, it's weird how life comes full circle. <laughs> 50 years later, I'm out here living. Now the fire chief tells me it took an hour and a half to knock the fire down at this time. He doesn't know if any of the building is able to be repaired, but he would consider uh, consider it to be more of a loss, at least to the apartments. Now a cause remains unknown at this time. The file fire marshal is investigating and the Red Cross is assisting. For now reporting live in Harmer, Lauren Linder, KDK TV News.